Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to make in this type of headband. Now for this one you're going to get one that's already got the color you want. You can follow the other tutorial of making the color you want for your headband and then put this bow on it. But the bow is made out of this frilly stuff. I'm not, I can't remember what it's called, but you can get it at Walmart and I'll show you it in just a second. But you make a bow, kind of like a bow tie out of it. And then you have like this rose ribbon that you can buy also at Walmart. So what you'll need is the headband. I'm going to use gray this time uh, because it's really the only color I have left. So it's a pre-made headband. Um, this is the ribbon, the rose ribbon that I was talking about. It's kind of like this knitted stuff on one side and the rose on the other. So, you'll need that, and then this stuff right here, which comes in a roll of, I can't remember, I think it's like 15 yards, yeah, 15 yards, and this is also in the ribbon section at Walmart, so, and that's the brand that I got, and it's black with, like, glitter on it, so you'll need that, scissors, and a hot glue gun with hot glue sticks. So this is a really easy tutorial. It shouldn't take long at all. So let's get started. Okay, one thing that I forgot to tell you that's optional to have with this is a thing of thread with a needle. And I'll show you what that will be for in just a second. But it's optional. You don't have to do that. And a piece of felt. I think you can get them like four for a dollar. Um, with it, this is also optional. You do not have to have this for this tutorial. So what we're going to first do is we're going to take this and we're just going to roll it out some. And how much you want to roll out is up to you. It depends on how many layers you want on your bow. This one has two layers. Let's just roll it, and that's what I did. I just rolled it out and then flipped it over the other piece, and then you squeeze in the middle if you just want it double layered. Um, also, if you want the bow as big as mine, that's what size you'll need. If you want to make it bigger, you need to flip it, roll it out more, and flip it longer. So. And if you want smaller, take this stuff and flip it in smaller sections. Like this is right there. So let's try a little bit of a smaller bow today. So this is how long I can get it to sit up straight. That's how long I'm making it this time. And like I said, if you want more layers, you have to fold it over more times. So right now I'm on my third one. And then let's just do a fourth time. So, I haven't made one like with four layers, but... Okay, there. Let me fix the camera. Okay, so now we are going to cut right along the end of that layer. Get that out of the way. Kind of make sure all the ruffles are out. And then what you're going to do is you're just kind of, kind of squeeze it. You can slowly fold it if you want so it's flat and just kind of start squeezing it and folding it and making it overlap each other. And you're just really going to squeeze it real tight in the middle. Nothing hard, just until you make a little bow tie. And you can spread it out however you want it. And that's what the four layers makes it look like. <clears throat> what you're going to use the thread for, and this is optional, you can do this with hot glue. The thread, just take the needle and thread it through and just keep winding it around. Or you can just tie something around it just to make sure this holds. Or you can just use hot glue to make it stick like that. I 
think this time, <clears throat> I used hot glue last time. I think this time I'm going to use a needle just to see how that will work. So I'm just going to put it through the middle. Just put it through the middle right there. And then I'm going to kind of go a little bit lower, more towards the bottom, and thread it through. Just to kind of give it to where it has a hold on its own. And if you want, you can really just, you don't even have to stick it through on the rest of them. You can just wrap it around however many times you want. And then stick it through the middle again. And again, this is just to make it hold. You don't even have to do it this way if you don't want to. Just kind of pull both ends real tight. Take the needle out of the string. And then just take the string, both ends. You can go ahead and cut it right there. So just take both ends and tie it just so it doesn't come undone. Make sure to pull really tight and make sure the thread doesn't go any of this and pull this over. So just pull really tight. And then cut both ends. Try not to cut the actual bow. And whatever color thread you want to use, that's your choice. I usually try to make sure it's whatever color this is. So there's our bow tie and it's staying. I think I actually like doing it better with thread. This is my first time doing it with thread. But you can do it with hot glue. You just kind of need to put it in the middle and then push it together. Make sure your fingers don't hit the hot glue and hold it for a few seconds and the, hard, the glue hardens. So now we want to put a rose in the middle of this. There's two ways that you can do this ribbon into a rose. Of course, it's already made out of roses, but you want to make the rose bigger. You can just start off circling around and just keep winding it around itself. And make sure to pull real tight. So just keep twisting. And you can either have it like that. I don't know if you how well you can see that. Okay, sorry about that. Someone actually just showed up at my house. So what we did is we twisted around hot glued and now take this and twist it just a little so that way that rose shows up on top and it's sticking up right there. I know you can't see it because it's black. It's not really, at least I can't see it because there's a light hitting the screen. But that rose is on top and that's how I'm going to do mine. Like I said, you can do it where it's just twisted or you can twist this and put it on top and have that rose looking all pretty. So just put some hot glue directly in the middle or wherever you're going to set this flower. Put enough so it doesn't come undone. So I'm putting the rose on top now. I twisted it and overlapped it on top. I'm just going to kind of press down, not too much, just because you'll do what I just did and pull the glue out with your finger. Just kind of press around the rose on all the sides. Don't press it through the middle yet. Wait until it dries just a little before you do that. For one, you'll burn yourself. For two, it will come out the top and then you'll have glue showing. So just press all the sides until it's dry. And while that's finishing drying, you can go ahead and just cut wherever you want on this. I'm going to cut it as close as I can to this rose. Try not to jerk on it too much. Okay, I dropped that. And if you want, come back. And you see where I cut it, it's kind of still hanging there. Put some hot glue under that and press it down too. Make sure you have enough again and then press down. Not too hard because it will squeeze through. Just lightly 
kind of rub it or pat it down. Okay, so there is your rose. I don't know if you can see it from there. You can twist this rose any way you want to, but that's the way I wanted mine done. Now what we're going to do is hot glue this rose to this bow. And you can decide which way you want your bow turned, which one looks better from underneath the ro uh, rose. I think that's going to look the best. And that's what it's going to look like. So just put a little hot glue directly in the middle of this bow, right where you put that thread through if you chose to do it with thread. Again, you could always just put hot glue down. Then, oh, and you might want to go ahead and put just a little bit more glue directly in the middle of the bottom of this rose just to make sure it holds better and then just press the rose down on the bow and make sure to go ahead and spread the bow out the way you want because you might have gotten glue somewhere you didn't want it and it might stick that way so let's just stretch the bow out the way we want it hold down on this rose real good and we'll check it in a minute to make sure it glued properly. Okay. I'm going to put some more glue under mine around the sides because now I see where it's going to be touching the bow. So I'm going to press right there. put some on this side. It's stuck pretty good. I'm going to put some right here on this side. And I'm really going to put some glue right there because it didn't really stick that good. Now let's hold. Make sure to dodge the glue that might be underneath. Again, you'll burn yourself. And we don't want that. Now it is glued real good. So we have the bow with the rose. Now you can decide where you want it. Do you want it going this way? You want it in the middle? Do you want it to the side? I like mine kind of to the side. Do you want it this way? Or do you want it that way? I don't really like mine going this way. I like mine doing this. You can even kind of glue it on Kind of diagonal. I think I'm going to do that this time. So figure out where you want it. I'm going to put mine right here. I'm going to put some a good bit of hot glue down. It also depends on what kind of hot glue gun you have, what temperature you're going to set it at, and what kind of hot gun, uh, hot glue or glue sticks rather, you're going to use. So just put that where you put the glue. Hold it down. Hold this part really good down on the headband. And you don't really have to hold it down for 10 seconds, but I at least like to hold it down for about 10, 15 seconds. And then just let it dry because on the directions for hot glue it says it takes it 20 to 30 seconds. So if you want to lay it to the side for until that time is up, you can always do that. But this is what it looks like. Simple and easy. Once you actually get everything cut the way you want it. And there you go. There's the rose. There's the bow. Again, this one is put on straight. This one's put on kind of diagonal. So, and they're really cheap, easy to make. These headbands cost about $1.28. This stuff cost about $4 and something. And this cost about two something. Or the rose stuff cost about two or three something. So, there's the headbands. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you can make you some.